if you want to improve your skills, these are some soccer drills you can do by yourself. show you some soccer drills you can do by yourself and these are drills that I do by myself and if I'm being honest when I'm practicing alone I never really use cones the only time I use cones is when I'm running a practice and I have lots of players and I want it very organized but when I'm practicing alone I don't use cones so I'm not gonna use them in this video however when I'm practicing alone I do want a lot of balls so one of the best things you can do for your individual development to have better practices on your own get more soccer balls. Maybe you only have one right now, but as a soccer player, you're always coming across them. Just build up that collection over time and you're gonna have better practices. More balls equals more repetitions equals faster improvement. So, in different videos, I've shown you how to improve your ball control. We've done footwork drills. Dribbling. Passing drills, best thing to do if you don't have a teammate is pass against a wall. Shooting, instead of just taking one shot, shooting against a wall, gonna get more repetitions, unless you have a lot of balls. But what I like to do when I'm practicing by myself is incorporate all of those skills into shooting drills. And I'm gonna give you some examples in this video. So. What I usually do is I just have a whole bunch of balls around like this. And let's say I wanted to practice my dribbling, my footwork, okay? I would just get a ball. Maybe I'll go for a little dribble, then I'll come out and I'll strike that ball. I'll just come back again. And go again like that. Way, and everyone misses the net, but you go again. Let's say I wanted to practice some ball control. Okay, you can start like that. Pull out of the air. Don't like that shot, I'll fix it. Better. So always finishing with shooting. For me, shooting is the most important. I need to be practicing shooting every day. And when I do, it makes me way sharper in the game. So another thing that you can do I've got this little wood plank. Let's see if it works. But I might, if I don't have a partner, something like this, and you can be creative. Don't miss the net. Let's go again. Like that. Put this in here if you can see. So if you don't have something like this, don't make excuses because what is that? It's a piece of wood. Find something to play with, to be your partner. Okay, but playing your passes and in different different patterns of movement. But I would just go through all these bowls. And again, I can work on my footwork. I can work on my ball control. And anytime I have a bad shot like that, I don't just move on. I try to fix it right away. Ooh. So let's say I did that shot, I tried to curl it, and it went right in the middle. Come back, do the same shot again and try to fix it. Think about what you did wrong, do something better next time. Okay, but after I take all these shots, then I would run, get my ball, and now look, here I can play, it's just like a little thing, but I can play weighted passes. Let's see if I can get these to stop. Focus on my way to pass, kind of play them back to where I where I would start from. And you can do this quickly if you want fitness, or you can do it slow if you need to recover. If you need to recover, 
take this time, focus on breathing, come back and go again. But when I'm by myself, that's usually how I would spend a lot of my time. If I'm doing fitness stuff, strength, speed, that's a little different. But this can incorporate dribbling, ball control, shooting, fitness, I'm getting tired, and learning to play when you're tired. So take these ideas and use these soccer drills to practice by yourself.